July 20th, 1969. As Neil Armstrong's boot touched the lunar surface, he spoke words that would echo through history. But today, more than half a century later, we stand at the threshold of something far more ambitious than those first footprints. This isn't just another journey to the moon. This time, we're going to stay. Through an unprecedented partnership between NASA and SpaceX, humanity is about to write the next chapter of lunar exploration. The goal? To establish the first permanent human settlement on the moon's surface. But what makes this mission truly revolutionary is SpaceX's ingenious approach. Using a single vehicle, Starship, not just to transport astronauts, but to become the foundation of the lunar base itself. In a recent presentation at Starbase Texas, Elon Musk unveiled Moonbase Alpha, a bold vision that transforms SpaceX's Starship from a mere spacecraft into humanity's first permanent lunar home. This isn't science fiction anymore. The engineering teams at SpaceX have developed detailed plans to convert Starship's massive hull into living quarters, laboratories, and storage facilities all protected by layers of lunar regolith to shield against the harsh reality of space. The location? The Shackleton Crater at the moon's south pole. A site chosen not by chance, but by destiny. Its peaks bathe in near-constant sunlight, perfect for solar power generation, while its shadowed depths harbor something even more precious. Water ice, the key to sustainable lunar presence. Today, we're going to take you inside this groundbreaking plan. You'll see exactly how SpaceX intends to transform Starship into humanity's first true home beyond Earth, from the initial landing to the final conversion into a fully functional lunar base. We'll explore the innovative engineering solutions, the life support systems, and the revolutionary technologies that will make permanent lunar habitation possible. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the latest developments in SpaceX's mission to make humanity multiplanetary. Let's dive right in. Dive right. At the heart of SpaceX's lunar ambitions lies a revolutionary spacecraft that defies conventional thinking. The Starship Human Landing System isn't just another lunar lander. It's humanity's first true home among the stars. Standing 50 meters tall with a diameter of 9 meters, this gleaming white vessel represents the culmination of decades of aerospace innovation reimagined through Elon Musk's relentless drive to push the boundaries of what's possible. Think back to the Mercury astronauts, crammed into capsules barely larger than a closet. Now gaze upon Starship's vast interior volume, a cathedral of human achievement that will soon house laboratories, living quarters, and dreams of a multiplanetary future. This isn't just technological progress, it's a fundamental reimagining of how humans will live and work in space. But what truly sets this spacecraft apart isn't just its impressive size or the raw power of its six Raptor engines. It's the ingenious way SpaceX has stripped away everything that isn't absolutely essential for its lunar mission. Gone are the heat shields that would normally protect it during Earth re-entry. Removed are the massive flaps that would guide its atmospheric descent. Every kilogram saved means more capacity for life-sustaining supplies, more room for scientific equipment, more possibility for human advancement on the lunar surface. The transformation from Earth-bound Starship to Lunar Pioneer goes deeper than mere aesthetics. The iconic stainless steel exterior has given way to a brilliant white surface, a critical adaptation that helps manage the extreme temperature swings of the lunar environment. Where temperatures can plunge to minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit in shadow and soar to 260 degrees in direct sunlight, this seemingly simple change could mean the difference between mission success and failure. Picture the first lunar settlers watching through Starship's windows as Earth rises above the horizon, a blue marble suspended in the infinite black of space. This sight, which moved the Apollo astronauts to tears, will become a daily reminder of what we're building towards, a future where humanity has grown beyond its cradle. The journey begins in Earth orbit, where a carefully choreographed ballet of spacecraft will prepare Starship for its lunar voyage. Multiple tanker launches will transfer the precious fuel needed for the translunar injection burn. Each docking maneuver represents countless hours of engineering innovation, each successful fuel transfer bringing us one step closer to our lunar dreams. As Starship approaches its destination, 
the Shackleton Crater comes into view. This isn't just any lunar landing site. It's the keystone of humanity's permanent presence on the moon. The crater's rim catches almost perpetual sunlight, a priceless resource for solar power generation. But it's what lies in the crater's eternally shadowed depths that makes this location truly extraordinary. Water ice, trapped for millions of years, waiting to sustain human life and fuel future missions. The landing sequence itself is a testament to precision engineering. Starship's Raptor engines, throttling with exquisite control, guide the massive vessel to a gentle touchdown on the lunar surface. But this landing is different from any that came before. This starship isn't just visiting, it's here to stay. As the dust settles around its landing legs, a new chapter in human history begins. The transformation begins almost immediately. Robotic systems, controlled remotely to minimize astronaut exposure to the harsh lunar environment, begin the delicate process of converting the spacecraft into a permanent habitat. The first critical step is one that would seem almost counterintuitive, laying this towering vessel onto its side. This horizontal positioning is no simple task. It requires careful management of internal pressures, strategic unloading of non-essential systems, and precise control of the vessel's center of gravity. A specialized hinge mechanism, supported by elevator cables and a scissor lift, guides the Starship through this crucial maneuver. The final resting place is carefully prepared, two parallel ridges of compacted regolith that will cradle the vessel, preventing any possibility of rolling while providing crucial structural support. But the real magic happens inside. Those massive fuel tanks that once held the propellant for the journey, they're about to become something extraordinary. After careful venting and cleaning, these cavernous spaces transform into living quarters with more habitable volume than the International Space Station. The interior walls receive layers of insulation and radiation shielding, while new floors create either a single expansive level or multiple stories nearly three meters high each. Consider the psychological impact of space design. These aren't just rooms, they're homes, laboratories, and gathering places where the first permanent lunar residents will write the next chapter of human civilization. The internal layout is a masterpiece of space utilization, carefully balanced between efficiency and comfort. Private sleeping quarters provide essential personal space for the crew, while communal areas foster the collaboration and camaraderie crucial for long-term lunar missions. A fully equipped laboratory supports groundbreaking scientific research, including experiments in lunar agriculture that could one day feed the settlement. Imagine the first lunar-grown tomato, a small red sphere representing humanity's ability to nurture life beyond Earth. A medical bay stands ready to handle everything from routine health monitoring to emergency procedures, ensuring the crew's well-being in this alien environment. Yet the most remarkable protection comes from the moon itself. A five-meter thick shield of lunar regolith carefully piled over the converted starship provides defense against both meteoroid impacts and the constant bombardment of cosmic radiation. This protective cocoon, combined with the base's sophisticated life support systems, creates an environment where humans can not just survive, but thrive. The challenge of sustaining life on the moon goes far beyond mere shelter. The base's location at Shackleton Crater provides access to one of the moon's most precious resources, water ice. Hidden in the perpetually shadowed regions of the crater, this ice isn't just a source of drinking water, it's the key to long-term sustainability. Through electrolysis, it can be split into hydrogen and oxygen, providing both breathable air and rocket fuel for future missions. The lunar soil itself holds another vital resource, oxygen. Every 20 grams of regolith contains enough oxygen to keep an astronaut breathing for 20 minutes. NASA has already demonstrated the feasibility of extracting this life-giving element, opening the door to true self-sufficiency for the lunar base. This isn't just about survival, it's about creating a sustainable cycle of resource utilization that could serve as a blueprint for human settlement throughout the solar system. Think about the first lunar miners venturing out in their spacesuits to harvest these resources. Each scoop of regolith, each chunk of ice represents another step towards independence from Earth. These pioneers aren't just collecting materials, they're building the foundation for humanity's expansion into the cosmos.
Power generation, crucial for every aspect of lunar operations, comes from a combination of solar arrays positioned along the crater's sunlit rim and advanced nuclear systems. The possibility of mining helium-3, an isotope rare on Earth but more abundant in lunar soil, could provide fuel for future fusion reactors, offering clean, sustainable energy for generations to come. Communication with Earth, essential for both operations and crew well-being, leverages SpaceX's revolutionary Starlink system. Laser-based space communications, capable of transmitting data at up to 200 gigabits per second, ensure that lunar settlers remain connected to home while pushing the boundaries of human experience. Picture a child on Earth having a video call with their parent on the moon, a scene that would have seemed impossible just decades ago. The implications of this achievement extend far beyond the moon. Each lesson learned, each system refined, each challenge overcome, brings us closer to the ultimate goal, human settlement of Mars. The lunar base serves as a proving ground for the technologies and techniques that will eventually allow humanity to become a truly multiplanetary species. The innovation doesn't stop with the initial base. Future iterations of Starship promise even greater capabilities. The planned V3 model could stretch to 150 meters in height with a payload compartment extending to 70 meters. This increased capacity could support larger crews, more extensive research facilities, and more ambitious mission objectives. Inside these future vessels, life in space takes on new dimensions. A six-floor design maximizes the use of available space, with each level serving a specific function. From the ground floor's cargo storage and power systems to the top floor's control center, every cubic meter is optimized for efficiency and comfort. Agricultural areas provide fresh food and a psychological connection to Earth, while exercise facilities help maintain crew health in the lunar environment. Consider the daily life of these lunar pioneers. Morning begins with the sun peeking over the crater rim, bathing the solar arrays in life-giving light. Crew members move between floors, conducting experiments, maintaining systems, and working together to solve the countless challenges of lunar living. In the evening, they might gather in the communal areas, sharing meals grown in their own hydroponic gardens, discussing the day's achievements, and planning for tomorrow's challenges. The transformation of Starship from spacecraft to lunar base represents more than just technical achievement. It's a testament to human ingenuity and determination. By repurposing every component, by thinking beyond traditional spacecraft design, SpaceX has created a pathway to permanent lunar presence that is both practical and achievable. This base will serve as more than just a scientific outpost. It will be a beacon of human achievement, a proving ground for new technologies, and a stepping stone to the stars. From its laboratories will come discoveries that benefit not just the lunar settlers, but all of humanity. Its success will demonstrate that we can adapt and thrive in the most challenging environments, using local resources and innovative thinking to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. The future of lunar exploration isn't about planting flags or leaving footprints. It's about building homes, conducting groundbreaking research, and establishing a permanent human presence beyond Earth. Through the innovative repurposing of Starship, SpaceX is turning science fiction into reality, one carefully planned step at a time. The message is clear. We're not just going back to the moon, we're going there to stay. And in doing so, we're laying the groundwork for humanity's greatest adventure, becoming a spacefaring civilization capable of living and working throughout the solar system. The moon base isn't the end goal, it's just the beginning of our journey to the stars. Each starship that touches down on the lunar surface carries not just cargo and crew, but the hopes and dreams of generations who looked up at the moon and dared to imagine a future among the stars. As Starship continues to evolve, each test flight, each engineering breakthrough brings us closer to this extraordinary future. From the first lunar landing to the establishment of a permanent base, we're witnessing the dawn of humanity's next great chapter. The technology that will transform Starship into our first lunar home isn't just possible, it's already being developed. The message is clear, SpaceX isn't just building a rocket or designing a lunar base. 
They're creating the foundation for humanity's future among the stars. Every detail from the innovative repurposing of fuel tanks to the integration of life support systems has been carefully considered to ensure not just survival, but long-term prosperity on the lunar surface. What are your thoughts on living in a converted starship on the moon? Share your perspective in the comments below. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, bringing you the latest developments in humanity's journey to become a multi-planetary species. If you want to stay updated on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements in the future of space exploration, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. Together, we'll witness history in the making.